Hey, I'm Clara, founder of Good Day Pilates. This is Good Stretch with Well and Good. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you through a hips and hamstring stretch. We're gonna get started standing at the back of our mat. So you'll take your time, come to standing with your feet hip width distance apart, and really ground through all four corners of your feet. So big toe mound, little toe mound, heel. From here, standing up nice and tall, we're gonna tuck the chin and start to roll your spine all the way down over your legs, coming into a forward fold. Once you get there, you can pause for a moment. See if you can maybe pedal out the legs a little, bending one knee, bending the other. Maybe you give your head a little shake, yes and no. And just kind of releasing any tension through the whole kind of posterior chain of the body, right? So the back of your neck, the upper back, lower back, hamstrings. And then nice and slowly, we're gonna roll ourselves all the way back up to standing, restacking the spine bone by bone. A little pause at the top, and then we'll go one more time. Tuck the chin, start to roll the spine down. See if you can maybe get a little further this time. Once you get there, we're gonna grab a hold of opposite elbows. Soft bend in the knees, and just start to take a little sway side to side. So feeling that shift from one hamstring to the other as we stretch out the backs of the legs. Again, think about letting the head be nice and heavy here. From here, you'll just find some stillness in centre. Plant your hands to the floor, but bend your knees as much as you need to get there. And start to walk your hands out until you're in a downward dog position here. So you want your hands to be planted shoulder width apart. Hips are lifting back and up towards the sky. See if you can soften your knees, let your heels drop towards the floor. And then think about flaring your sit bones. Take a big breath in here and let the heels melt down a little bit more. Once you're there, we're gonna roll forward to a high plank and step your right foot outside your right hand. We're gonna drop that back knee down to the floor and then float the arms up towards the sky. So coming into a nice hip flexor stretch here. Think about tucking your tailbone under and then sinking a little deeper into that front knee. So we wanna make sure that we're not just kind of like dumping into the low back here. The more you can tuck your tail, the more sensation will feel through the front of that left hip. And then think about lifting your chest up. We should feel that sensation through the front of the left hip. If you're not feeling it, maybe sink a little deeper into that front knee, but keep working on tucking that tailbone under. We're gonna take a big breath in, and then stay, see if you can get a little deeper as you breathe out. From here, we're gonna plant our fingertips to the floor around that right foot. Start to straighten that right leg just as much as you need to feel a hamstring stretch. Now you can start to pull your toes back up towards your face. Maybe keep a soft bend in that right knee. Again here, see if you can flare your sit bones just a little bit and notice how that increases the sensation through the back of the right leg, so that right hamstring. And if it feels good for you, you could even let your head drop. Take a big breath in and just stay, maybe sink a little deeper as you breathe out. We're going to start to move between those two, right? So as you bend the right knee, shift forward, float the arms up towards the sky, find that hip flexor stretch, and then fingertips to the floor, start to straighten that right leg, send your hips back. Moving between the two, bend the right knee, lean forward as you lift your arms, and then fingertips down, send the hips back, straighten that front leg. And then just keep moving at your own pace, Thinking here almost about flossing out through the hips a little here so it becomes a little bit more dynamic. We'll just take two or three more of these. Again, moving at your own pace with your own breath. If something feels particularly sticky, you could pause there for a moment. Good, and then just holding in that hamstring stretch again for a moment here. Let that head drop, take another breath. Okay, we're gonna shift forward again. So bending into that right knee and start to crawl your right foot across towards your left hand. We're gonna come into a pigeon stretch. So sending that right shin parallel to the front edge of the mat, back leg is straight and long behind you. You can pause up here if that feels like enough, or you're welcome to start to make your way down onto your forearms. We should feel this now in the outer right hip. So that kind of glute area. Now, if this feels like too much at any stage, you're welcome to prop like a pillow or a yoga block or a towel underneath that right hip for a little extra support. I'm gonna take three big breaths here. Each time, see if you can maybe fold a little deeper over that front thigh. 
and just noticing that sensation in the outer right hip. And take one more breath. And then nice and slowly, we're gonna come back up onto our hands here. Tuck your back toes and we're gonna meet back in that downward facing dog. So press into the hands, that left foot, and then step the right foot back to meet the left. We're back in our downward dog. Take another breath here. Just notice how maybe that right leg feels a little different to the left now. And we're gonna roll forward again into that high plank and step the left foot outside the left hand. Dropping the back knee down peeling the chest and the arms up, finding that hip flexor stretch. So again, on this side, we wanna find that tuck of the tail, and then you can start to sink a little into that left knee. Trying not to like just dump into the lower back here. So really think tailbone tucks, maybe even give your right butt cheek a little squeeze to increase the sensation through the front of the right hip. Starting to lift the chest a little, finding a bit more length through the front of the body. So working into that right hip flexor and a little bit of right quadricep here as well. We'll take one more breath. And then we're gonna plant our fingertips down around that left foot. Starting to straighten the left leg out, send the hips back and fold over that left thigh. Just take it nice and easy for the first one. See if you can really start to flare the sit bones and feel that sensation in that left hamstring. Maybe you pull your left toes back towards your face. Maybe you drop your chin to your chest. I'm gonna take two more breaths here. And whenever we're stretching, we just wanna kind of find the first point of resistance and breathe into it. There's no need to push into any sort of pain. Good, and then we're gonna to start to move through those two positions. So we're gonna bend into that left knee, shift forward, float the arms up to the sky, find that hip flexor stretch, a little pause. And then fingertips will come down, you send your hips back and straighten that front leg. Keep moving here, bend into the left knee, reach the arms up, find that hip flexor stretch. And then fingertips down, straighten the left leg and fold over that left thigh. And just continue to move here again at your own pace with your own breath. If there's anywhere a little extra sticky, you're welcome to pause. I'm gonna go for a couple more of these. Good. Last one, we're gonna hold it in that hamstring stretch. Just take one or two last breaths here. And then we shift forward again, start to crawl that left foot towards your right hand and then planting that left knee down finding that pigeon stretch. So we want the left shin to almost be parallel to the front edge of the mat. See if you can lift your chest up for a moment. Back leg is nice and straight. You could stay here, or if you feel ready, you're welcome to start to lower onto your forearms. So see if you can get a little deeper in this hip stretch. We should feel that sensation through your outer left hip, that glute area. And noticing that one side will always feel a little more sticky than the other, and that is totally normal. Just breathing into that resistance. Eventually, maybe you'll feel it soften and you'll be able to get a little deeper in that stretch. Let's take one or two more breaths here. And then nice and slowly, just come back up onto your hands. We're gonna roll onto our left butt cheek and swing the right leg forward and around. So we're sitting up nice and tall. Legs out in front of you, arms out in front of you. We're gonna roll it down onto our back. So scooping that belly and just start to roll yourself down nice and slowly, bone by bone. And your spine will land down on the mat beneath you. Well done. Arms can come down by your sides and just bend your knees so your feet are flat. Once you're there, we're gonna take your right ankle across your left knee for another figure four stretch here. So we should feel this again through our outer right hip. You can start to hug the left thigh in towards your chest and just find a little deeper stretch here. We'll take a couple of breaths. You could even take that to a little rock side to side and just start to explore all the little sticky spots in that outer right hip. And when you're ready, plant your left foot to the ground, hug that right knee in towards your chest and just give it a little squeeze. 
From here, you can grab the back of the right leg and just extend the toes up towards the sky. Maybe start to point and flex your right foot. Now, if this feels like enough for you, stay. Or you can straighten the left leg all the way along on the ground in front of you. That's just gonna give you a little more sensation through the right hamstring, but also maybe that left hip flexor. And just take a couple of breaths here. If you have a little bend in that right knee, that's totally fine, as long as you're feeling that sensation through your hamstring. One more breath. And then bending into the right knee, plant both feet back on the floor. We're gonna do the second side. So left ankle will come across your right knee. You can pause there for a moment. If you want a little more, you grab the back of the right leg, pull it towards you. Again, finding that sensation through your outer left hip. Maybe taking a little rock side to side and just finding all those little tight spots. Couple more breaths. And then we'll plant that right foot to the floor, hug the left knee in towards your chest, give it a little squeeze, almost like we're compressing through the front of that left hip. And then hugging the back of the left leg, extend the leg up towards the sky and just take a few points and flexes of that left foot. Again, starting to feel that sensation again through that left hamstring. Even if you have a little bend in that left knee, totally fine. If you want a little more, you can extend the right leg on the ground in front of you. Let the right leg feel really heavy. So even though this is mostly about the left hamstring, we might feel a little bit through the front of the right hip. Two more breaths. Good, and then we're gonna plant the feet back onto the floor, but this time take your feet mat width apart, so a little bit wider. Take your arms out wide to a T-shape or a cactus position. We're gonna start to drop both knees over towards the right as you look over to the left. Feeling that stretch now through, again through the front of that left hip and maybe a little bit in your low back and then we'll switch. Knees go to the left and you look to the right. And then again, we're gonna move through this at your own pace with your own breath. A little floss out through the hips here. You can take your gaze the opposite way of the legs. And then next time your knees go to the right, let's hold it there. You can pause or you can step your right foot on top of your left knee and just give it a little extra kind of pull down towards the floor, feeling that length all through the front of that left hip. Take one more breath. Bring that back to center and then we'll swap. So knees go to the left. Again, maybe you stay here, or you can step your left foot on top of your right knee. Give it a real pull down towards the floor. See if you can anchor the right shoulder down. One more breath. Slowly bring that back to center. We're gonna give our knees one last big hug and squeeze in towards our chest. You can rock up and down the spine a couple of times and make your way up to a seated position. This has been good stretch with Well and Good. I hope you're feeling a little lengthened through your hips and hamstrings. Again, I'm Clara, founder of Good Day Pilates. For more videos like this, subscribe below. See you next time.